Well, right now at 1030, a completely new take on the criminal justice system. Bowie County Board of Commissioners gave their seal of approval on a new veterans treatment court. Well, if the court becomes a reality, it would be the only one of five in the state. Queen City News Northeast Chief uh, Bureau Chief, that is, Sydney Heiberger, breaks down what exactly stakeholders could expect here. It's not a done deal yet. There's no magic wand to these things. It requires preparation. It requires planning. But leaders in Rowan County are moving forward with a veterans treatment court. The idea behind it is is to fulfill through community partnerships shortcomings that you have, whether it be sociological or psychological. The program would take veterans who have committed lower level offenses, usually involving drugs and alcohol, and work on rehabilitating the root cause of their issues, rather than putting them through the traditional criminal justice system. Instead of taking somebody and charging taxpayers hundreds of dollars a day to incarcerate an individual over however long a period of time, you're taking somebody and stopping that. The program would offer mental health resources, housing and job assistance, and whatever else the vet may need to become an upstanding member of society. It's not a free pass. It's very intensive. It's very long. It's very time consuming, you know, mentally and spiritually exhausting. Program advisor Matthew Saylor says 35% of offenders in North Carolina recommit crimes. But that rate drops to 10% for those in the program. If it weren't for that mental health issue and service that was developed, they probably wouldn't be where they're at now. And all they need is a reset. In Rowan County, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.